It's easy to set up your Gibson Ridge product suite to use Allison House's more reliable weather data. In this tutorial, we are only talking about non-radar data, things like surface conditions. If you're trying to find out how to include our radar data, you'll need to view our other tutorials because the process is a bit different. To begin using our non-radar data in Gibson Ridge, you'll first need to use your web browser to go to our website, www.allisonhouse.com. From there, find the login link in the upper right-hand corner of the page and click it. On the login screen that comes up, you'll need to use the information you provided to us when you first set up your account. This includes your email address and your password. If you can't remember the password you set up, we have a link to help you out. But if everything's good, then just click the login button. Well, now that you're logged in, you'll see your personalized account dashboard. You'll see information about the status of your subscription, as well as plenty of links, including those to integrate with the different software packages that are compatible with Allison House. So, to begin putting our non-radar data into your Gibson Ridge product, click the Gibson Ridge link on the page. You should now see links to view and configure all of your radar and data feeds for use inside Gibson Ridge. Find the data feed that you want to use, in this example we'll be working with surface conditions, and then click Customize. This brings up another page that gives you the option to change the way your data displays. Near the very top of this page you'll see a URL, a web address. To get our non-radar data into your Gibson Ridge product, you'll need to copy this URL into your Gibson Ridge software. Just highlight it with your mouse, right click and then select Copy. Now it's time to open your Gibson Ridge software. In this video we'll be showing you GR Level 3, but the process is similar for other Gibson Ridge products. You can either click the desktop icon for your Gibson Ridge software, or find it through Windows Start menu and All Programs. Once the program is up and running, you'll need to select the menu item Windows, followed by Show Place File Manager. This pops up a window that will allow you to manage your non-radar data feeds inside Gibson Ridge. To add your new non-radar data, which is called a place file, into Gibson Ridge, click on the folder icon in the Place File Manager window. This will pop up a window that lets you enter the URL you copied earlier. In the blank area provided, right-click and paste your data URL. If for some reason it does not paste correctly, go back to the Allison House website and copy it again. Once everything looks correct, click OK. Your feed should now show up in the Place File Manager window. You'll notice that there are two checkboxes to the left of each of the feeds. The left checkbox tells Gibson Ridge whether or not you want this place file to show up on the radar screen. If it is not checked, you won't see the data on the screen. The second checkbox tells Gibson Ridge how to display the data from the feed. If it is not checked, the data will show up on top of the radar data. If the box is checked, then that data will be placed on the map underneath the radar data. You can repeat this process over and over to add in as many place files as you like. And that's it! You're now plugged into some of the most reliable weather data out there. If you're having trouble getting things to work, here are a few potential solutions. If your data is not showing up in Gibson Ridge, go to the GIS menu and make sure that there's a check mark next to Show Places. If your place file is showing up in the Place File Manager as being highlighted red, that means there's a problem. You can right click to get information about any errors that you might be having. If you're using multiple place files and are finding that the display order is not working correctly, that means that one file may be obscured by another, you can go to the Place File Manager window to highlight one of the place files and then use the arrows to rearrange them backward or forward. If you're still having trouble, visit support.allisonhouse.com for assistance.